Hi friends, welcome to day five of Advent. Today is going to be another question from you guys and it's one that I've kind of merged a couple together and it is basically about finding the balance between reading and writing and having a day job. And so from Emily Oliveri, we have, how do you manage reading, writing, and a day job? And from Sarah Monsinger, we have, how do you balance reading and writing? Do you neglect one over the other? Is there a balance? So that's what we're going to talk about today. Peppermint hot chocolate, definitely the way to go. I would say over the past few years since I started doing YouTube, I've definitely neglected writing over reading, for sure. The past couple of months maybe has been a little better in the writing department. If you watch my video from day two, which was my NaNoWriMo wrap up, I definitely feel like last month I got a handle on how to find that balance for everything and how everything has worked for me. Um, it took me a long time to figure that out, which is not great. But I think I do finally have like a rhythm of how things are going to work moving forward. And hopefully that means that I can be more productive in the future. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do work a regular day job. And I, I would say between like getting up in the morning, my drive there, my drive back, the hours that I'm there throughout the week, I would say I probably can account like 55 hours of my week to just work. So I definitely have a lot of time that I'm not at home and able to focus on reading or writing. I do typically listen to audiobooks on my drive to and from work. And um, in the morning when I'm getting ready, I'll listen to audiobooks as well. Um, anytime I'm driving to or from anywhere, I have an audiobook on. That definitely helps. But that doesn't really help at all with writing. I could probably do like dictation or something. But so far, I haven't found that dictation really works for me. It works for some people, some people it doesn't. So far, not for me, and that's okay. So what I figured out last month was more that if I focus on writing during live sprints, because I do tend to go to specific live sprints. Like I almost always have a set that I go to every weeknight. I do um, Samantha El Nasset on Monday and Becca and Henna on Tuesday. Wednesday, I do Camille Myrick. Thursday, I do Kevin and Laura. Uh, Fridays, I do every other Friday. Brooke was doing the opposite every other Friday, but now I think Brooke and I are on the same Fridays. Don't really know how that happened. Um, and then there are others that will happen during the weekend, but I typically use the weekend ones more for reading than for writing. But I have found that if I specifically spend that time during the week and write, I'm actually getting a good amount of writing done, which is great. Um, in the past, I have used that time for um, doing video editing and things like that. And I'm trying not to do that anymore. I'm trying to do specifically writing during people's sprints on weeknights. There are definitely nights where I do end up doing um, video editing, but I'm trying to not do that currently. And then I'm spending my weekends reading. So whatever reading I'm getting done during the week, doing during audiobooks, and then on the weekends trying to get some physical books in and read on the weekends when I am doing like my editing and things like that. So I think I've found like the happy balance. We'll see how it goes moving forward into the new year. Um, and especially with this month with having to um, have a video every day, which I don't have to have a video every day but I do see me having a video every day. I'm gonna do my best to continue Advent throughout um, all the way to Christmas, but it's definitely not um, something that I know for sure is working as far as like the balance, but I'm working on it and I think I'm getting there. Um, it's, it's not something that I have perfected yet, but I'm getting there. I went ahead and pulled day five's bag off of the bookshelf since I'm sitting here in front of you today instead of over there mostly just because I don't want to deal with my camera right now and this is easier um so we're gonna plot today if you haven't been watching up to this point what I've been doing is 
every day during Advent, I've been highlighting a content creator on YouTube who has under a thousand subscribers. So let's see who we have today. Day five is Laura at Trope Trinity Trilogy. So I will link Laura in the description box below as well as in the cards so that you can check her out. Uh, Laura is a writing and reading channel. So she does do things about writing and does things about reading. And she does a lot of um, like specific types of videos that I really enjoy watching. One of them is bite-sized tropes. So she'll do like a short video on different tropes. Really enjoy those. And the other is weird writing tips. So it's kind of just like an amalgamation of different things that she has found that help her with writing and just like the different things that are, they're weird in a way that like you wouldn't expect them necessarily to help with writing, but she has found that they do. Um, she's a very interesting channel, so I highly recommend you check her out. And Laura, like the previously mentioned Vanessa at a World of Words, was one of the first few people that I found on YouTube. So still happy to have Laura around and to have her be someone that I can spotlight in today's video. That is going to be it for me today. Make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss any more of the fun Advent things that we have going on in the future. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!